Hello, in this video we will discuss uh, advanced interface uh, modeling and simulation using uh, association block and uh, that's quite a uh, simple construction which gives enormous amount of uh, value modeling um, details of the interface and uh, usage that for simulation and uh, uh, one of the reasons to use it is because it is combination of the block and association so association can be used as a type for the connector so connector is no longer just a relation it is the thing which is defined in the block so now you can actually define the logic of the connector without actually modeling some separate block you know uh, just using association block as uh, as the dedicated solution for that and uh, in this video, we'll do it everything's from scratch. As you can see here, we have a system. We have two parts of the system. Deliberately, we do a small model as we can to show the principle. And then we have different interfaces. You see interface A and interface B for pro uh, proxy ports, typing the proxy ports. As you see here, those interface blocks typing this proxy port A and B. And what we want to achieve here that we want to create the connectivity between those ports, but um, in the internal block diagram, but also we want that uh, those interfaces would uh, collaborate correctly. So we have, you see flow properties. In this case, both of, of them, uh, both of the interfaces have the real type of the flow properties. And here we have ABC out, right? And here we have XYZ in. And we want that uh, uh, the mapping would exist, right? So that A goes out of the uh, component A, but it goes to the, you know, not like uh, X, but something else, you know, Y maybe, you know, B to X and C to Z, for example, right? And then the simulation would work, you know, and uh, we want that mapping, uh, but we don't want to map every time when we connect those, like every time, you know, to map would make some reason, would create three connectors, right? And uh, that would be like uh, not elegant solution for sure. So we can predefine this mapping in association block. So let's see how that is done. So here we have association block in the, in the block diagram. As you can see here, it is available here, right? So let's create it. Here we have it. And we can name it, for example, it could be based on the type of interface, right? Uh, and you see, I'm creating an association block to define the connection between interface, interface definitions, interface blocks, right? So it will be A, B, I, F. Let's say like this, right? A, B, I, F. And now I can specify the logic of this interface inside of this uh, association block. So I can go here, create, uh, for example, a block diagram, right? Internal block diagram, or here, and then choose, uh, choose flow properties. Here you go. And then here I could map them. So I can say that A goes to Y, C goes to Z, and B goes to X. Then I can lay out everything. You see, like it changed the order, right? Uh, uh, here, because A goes to Y and B goes to X. Uh, now uh, let's uh, go to our system model. So we define this interface. We could keep it somewhere, you know, even in library of interfaces, right? And now how to system it, create a block diagram here, show the parts, show the ports like this, right? And then we create connectivity between uh, A and B, right? So let's create this connector. That's it, right? So we don't do any mapping here. So here we are just connecting two ports. That's it. And now we could actually simulate this. So let's uh, let's ignore for now, you know, this uh, validation because validation checks the flow property by name and uh, it doesn't find the same names and it complains. So we defined more advanced logic. And next step is actually to define what would be this connector. So we, as same as parts are typed, so the connector can be typed and it shall be typed by association block. So let's go to this association block. Let's take that association block and drag it on connector. As you can see here, I get this information here that my connector, you see here is uh, really representing this association uh, association uh, block, right? Uh, and uh, 
uh, if you don't want to see this association block, you can just hide it, right, like this. And you can hide anything here, like, for example, twice shown that one, you know, like we don't want to see here. And you can actually make it, you know, automatically hidden and so um, through symbol properties. Now, when we simulate this, let's see A and B, right? So if we are changing A, we get the Y updated, right? If we are changing, uh, and uh, this is logic based on the this interface uh, in the association block, right? As you can see here, I added value to A, Y get updated, right? A will add a value to B. That updates X. Same here, you see, like B updates X. Now C should update uh, Z, right? Everything works, right? This mapping could be multiple kind of uh, uh, to one, you know, uh, or then you like, for example, sum that, you know, uh, and you can also use like a one to many, you know, up to update, like, for example, this could go to this and this, you know, and even this could be, you know, leverage uh, uh, during the a simulation with some additional logic for example we could recalculate from one value to another value so let's see how that would work so for example let's say that instead of a here i'm using temperature right so let's say temp and here also for the y i also using temp as you know they are mapped a to y mapped but here in a i'm using uh, temperature let's say in uh, celsius no, in Fahrenheit, here I will define it in Fahrenheit, and here in I will use it in Celsius. So I want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Here it's output of interface in Fahrenheit, here it's input in, uh, in Celsius, and I could have this interface converting that. So this could be, you know, uh, done with the uh, constraint block in this internal block diagram so here we have temperature to temperature let's say like this and in between i need constraint block so you could actually do this constraint block um, here and then in, uh, draw, drag and drop or you can convert your ibd to parametric diagram which is completely fine because both of them support the same elements really uh, refactor change to change type to parametric diagram and then we have equation wizards wizard so i will choose this equation wizard to calculate from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I will use this expression here, Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. Here we have the constraint created automatically with parameters. And now I will take this input here, add it to the Fahrenheit. So input here, and we'll take output, add it to this one. So I have all that uh, what is needed. Uh, and this is all created inside of this association block. So this logic connecting those two interface definitions now is used to specify the interface logic when we are using it. So we are already using it with the type, as you can see here, association block. So all that conversion will happen automatically. So let's simulate this model run. Let's see what's happening now. So. Uh, here we have if the temperature is zero, we have minus 17. If the temperature is 100, we have 37. If the temperature is 86, we have 30. If the temperature is 80, we have 26. Uh, 79, we have 26. Uh, dot one. So here we have this um, uh, very elegant solution uh, working as a defining uh, interface. Uh, logic uh, and um, without uh, exposing this complexity you know of the logic to the user you just connect those two and say like using this interface like for example electrical interface and that could be challenge for for you for the, or for the next uh, model you know uh, how you you would connect uh, for example um, welding machine with your uh, electricity uh, of the house and uh, using the cable uh, what gain cable you would choose uh, for that welding machine let's say if it is uh, uh, need to be used you know like in 30 yards distance to weld uh, 
gates of your yard, right? So uh, then we would uh, actually have some logic here in the connector, which would be like cable. And based on the length and those properties, could calculate the required gain, right? Because actually this block can have all things what blocks have. So it could create, a, here we could create value properties and that would be, for example, like uh, some X, or like for example, yeah, X, uh, which would be constant, right? Uh, and we can say like this, like 1.8, right? So, and then in that constraint block, instead of doing 1.8, we could say like we are using X, actually we could show here this X and then parse those parameters. Uh, and show them here. And now we have uh, value property coming from this block, which could be in the library and could represent, for example, cable and so on with the length and the gain and material and other things. And then when we uh, simulate that, uh, we see that, uh, actually not that, if we will add the value here, equal 100. And then we'll simulate this uh, the system. Run. We see the there is hundred. There is result thirty seven. So completely transparent, very powerful, and uh, works out of the box.